get him, eh? Here they are, dynamic gaming duo. Dad, turn it off. It's my new camera. Smile for posterity, May. Ken, tell us what May will do in the future. She's gonna build universes to blow the minds of millions. That's what I said. Dad, Come on, get out of the way. Ken, we're losing. Get out of the way, we're losing. Don't forget you have the Wilson birthday party at 3 p.m. Sweet, got it. Okay. Hey, put that away till after school. Is today the assembly? Yeah, man. No! Hey, later to celebrate, Smash Bros tourney. Oh yeah. Marcus, not now. You have five minutes to get ready. I'm sick. Four and a half minutes. My renal disease is flaring up. Hypochondria is not a disease. Please! Three minutes. Won't make anything easier for me. I'm feeling a video game free spring break coming on. No DS, no Xbox, no Switchit. Switch, Nintendo Switch. Gone for the week. No online matches, no tourneys. Fine. Don't eat standing up. 30 seconds. Sure, right. Oh! You ready for a show of a lifetime? Oh. Boo, we need five. School functions are okay. The kids' faces are so cute. Clubs and corporate gigs, Todd. Remember, that's the goal. Desert Wind Corporation of Arizona is waiting for a reply. So you want me entertaining drunk adults at a convention in the middle of the day? Yes. It'll pay the bills. All right, Magic Mike is on. Dr. Williams' office. Hello? Uh, you're really soft, can you speak up? Yes, now I can. Uh, let me check. Yeah, Friday is good. Uh-huh. Okay, I got you penciled in. Yeah, he can help you with that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, great. We will see you Friday. Mm -hmm. Bye. Okay, Janet, let's get you scheduled for next week. Okay, that sounds good. She'll need some B12 and Para-Q. All right. Should I have Alexa grab those? Oh, um, I put them on the shelf earlier. I'll go get them. How often do I take them? She'll write it down for you, but yeah, twice, twice a day. It's gonna be breakfast and dinner. Okay, thank you. Uh, May, the phone? Yeah. Dr. Williams' office, how may I help you? Okay, you're good. Can I put you on hold for a moment? Thanks. I'll go get that. I'm so excited you're here today, Mr. Connor. My husband and I were actually thinking of helping you plan our 20th wedding anniversary. Ah, that's awesome. I get it. Putting that spark back into your marriage. Well done. 
Yeah, that's why I'm excited you're here today, Mr. Connor. Well, I hope to make you proud, Principal Evans. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you. We finally found a place. It's in the Scottsdale Quarter. Really? Everything is so close, it's amazing. It's all because of that promotion. Wow. Oh, sorry. Hey, what's up? Hey baby, you coming? I go on any minute. Um, I can't make it. Seriously? Well, yeah. It's work. Busy day, work. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, see you tonight. Break a leg, babe. You're amazing. <laughs> Love you. Todd's still dragging his feet. It's a good gig. It's better than little Susie's fifth grade birthday party. And the desert wind gig? He won't do it. Oh, come on, have faith in him. I'll get it. You know that guy's magic? It was like so bad, yeah, dude. I practically slept through about it. Look at this. Hey! Nerdcore? Loser? Do some magic for me. No. Perform for me like your dork dad. When did I become an entertainment for you? Since the day you came here? All the dragons. What did you say? You cannot slay. Did you say you'll slay me? Hey, stop that! <laughs> so, buttface, gonna try to disappear out of this one? Fight! 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 Are you serious? Dad? This character looks really good, May. Yeah? You think so? Yeah. I spent like two hours on her. I really like the castle too. Maybe a bit bigger next time though. Really? That way they don't get through it too fast. Yeah, that makes sense. Look, it's starting. Come on, May, let's go. Ken, I need you. You told me that you are gonna help me finish these characters. No, I got a better idea. Uh, Come on. Uh, it's better be worth it. Hello? Yes, it is. What? Wait. I I'm coming right now. You okay? I'll cover you, just go. I told you I needed to stay home. He's okay, Miss Connor. Seriously? Look at his face. Let's calm down. I'm mildly concussed, but don't need to go to the hospital. We don't need to calm down. I get a phone call that my son's been in a fight. I get here and see his face, and I'm supposed to be calm? There was an altercation, but Marcus is going to be okay. The sailing called me loser, butt face nerdcore. Shall I go on? Was there a teacher anywhere? My face became his punching bag. Let me get Principal Evans. Yeah, you do that. I'm okay. I'm not. Marcus, I'm so sorry. Does that hurt? Come here. So he, the maniac who crushed my son's face, was just sent home? Are you gonna do anything? I can see you're upset. This is unreal. He claimed Marcus wears panties and pisses his bed. He mocked his dad, my husband. Your husband was magnificent, by the way. 
I, I, I'm so relieved. He stated your son threatened to slay him. Wait, what, what, what did you just say? He threatened to slay him. That's considered inciting violence in our minds. Have you seen my son? He felt your son threaten his life. Oh my God. I want you to know, I'm going to look into this, okay? Unbelievable. This is just like Franklin Elementary. Mrs. Connor, I'm more than happy to continue this conversation, but I'm not going to be accused of not doing my job. Your father, Dr. Daniels, right? He helped your son get into this school. And despite his previous school records, we let him in. We want this to be a positive experience. We'll let you know after spring break our decision for both boys. All right, I got the Band-Aids. The nurse Jeannie previously treated my wounds. Only enough to keep her ass from being sued. Dad was really good. That's what I heard. He was mocking us, both of us. Nerdcore? <laughs> I admired the free-flowing insults. It was quite impressive. Really? You know, I was thinking, maybe we do something different for spring break this year. There's the gaming camp. I sent the link. Yeah, there's that. Or there's going up north to see your grandpa. I'd rather stay home and play with my friends. Online? They're real, Mom. I just have one question. Did you... What? You know, punch back. Stoop to his Neanderthal level and hit him? Or kick him in the nuts? Mom. Didn't Street Warrior... Street Fighter, classic NES game. Yeah, that one. Didn't it teach you any moves? Anything? Marcus, you have to defend yourself. All oh, right, man up. Put on your big boy pants. Hey, I, I just... These guys are dragons, Mom. They're dragons, all of them. They're dragons. Get you to bed, okay? Come on. Come on. Go. Man, his face is messed up. Yeah. So much for putting magic back into spring. Ah, that was such a good show. <sighs> I'm not surprised. Carl has bullied him all year. I thought it wasn't a big deal. Our son's problems don't just magically disappear. It's not like this. It's like this. Got you some hot cocoa with some whipped cream. Classic. Mm. I just felt so alone today. When the school nurse kept telling me to calm down, I just really wanted to beat the shit out of her. Honestly, I don't know what's happening to me. I'm in the room with Principal Evans and she keeps saying, I'm looking into it and your father helped you and I just, I 
just got so angry, all I could think about is how bad I wanted to punch her. It's just... Well, the bright side is that um, Principal Evans added 10% on the payment, so... So what are you going to do with it? I paid water and trash. And uh, Desert Wind? Man, I just forgot. It's coming up on 18 months. Our savings are gone. I know, but, but I'm so close. We, we uh, discussed and we agreed on this together. You told me to do it, so I'm doing it. Close to what? Do you think the Magic Castle's uh, gonna call you? Yeah. Who's that? Mm. Dad. What does he want? I texted him. Contacted him? Yeah, I, I wanna go up next week. To your dad's? It's my home. It was your home. Plus, he doesn't even like me. What does that have to do with anything? You don't understand. I need to get away. Okay, but that's not getting away. If you want, we could go somewhere else. Marcus and I need a break. Oh. Just need a break. Okay, I get it. It's just for the week. Yeah. Sure. You know, fine. I'll, I'll email Desert Winds and I'll do corporate gigs and that will make you happy. That'll make me happy, yeah. Todd? I don't think so. Okay, because now you're just doing it because I made you. Okay, you're just doing it to appease me and now I get to be the bad guy. No, I'm doing it because you told me to step up, so I'm stepping up. Why are you doing this? Yeah. So we're gonna do. Well, it's spring break and we're going. Fine, go, have fun. You know, this makes no sense. You want me to make friends and you take me up here with just you and Grandpa. I wish Dad were here. I know, sweetie. He just couldn't. We are almost there. been a while since you've been here, huh? Yeah, looks the same. Oh, Grandpa sees you. Wave. Marcus, let me be clear before we get here. If you give me any trouble over anything having to do with nature or fight me about going outside, I will not only take your phone, your video games will be mine until the end of the school year. Whatever. Okay, I get it. Hey, May. Hey, Dad. Oh, good to see you. How was the trip? Excellent. Two hours of silence. Marcus. Hi, Marcus. Oh. Can I get your bags? Oh, sure. Thanks.
Marcus, your room's upstairs to the left. Wow, what does she stand for, a month? <sighs> Dr. Daniels. Oh, Ken. Startled the old ticker, huh? Yeah, Ken, you did. What's new? Well, Kyle's scholarship came through. Full ride. Full ride? As long as you get to clean bill of health. I'm gonna report what I find. Well, I'm not asking you to lie. Just do your job and everything will work out, right? Well, I'm sure it will. Get him, May. Dad, turn it off. Ken, tell us what May will do in the future. So what else is going on? How you been? Well, three years sober today. Three years? I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. That is like good news. So whose bags are these? May, she just arrived. You never mentioned that before. It was a spur of the moment thing. She came with Marcus, my grandson. Anyone else? No, that's it. I was thinking, why don't you come by later after your daily grind's over? Well, Chifo, I come and go as I please. <laughs> yeah. But I did get a new 300 Win Mag. You want to side it in, shoot a few rounds? The Winchester 300? Dude, that's really tempting, but I'm going to be hanging out with Marcus. Haven't seen him in a while. You shoot yourself. <clears throat> you get it? Yeah. You shoot yourself. <laughs> yeah, funny. Hey, Ken, just keep running, OK? Remember, Kyle, clean bill of health. Keep that jogging up. See you later. We should let him settle in. I can check him out tomorrow. That's what I was hoping. But just not an exam room, because he kind of freaks out about stuff like that. Yeah, I remember. You know, there's no way he started it. I know, but they're blaming him. Let me make the call. No, Dad. Todd and I will handle it. <sighs> yeah, Todd. You know, I know change in careers is pretty drastic. We're fine. Uh, Todd's got a big corporate gig he's doing this week. Well, I'm glad to hear about that. You finished? Yeah. Okay. I got an early day tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Hey, Marcus. You see how big that one was? Oh. Man, your dad really goes all out. It's the only thing he does good. Come on down, bro. We need something to hit. What's that? I didn't hear anything. Let's go over here. You can see the fireworks better. So it's like an old school hunter maze? Um, yeah, so I'm ripping off the Zelda codes and layout, so yeah. Tell me how that last verse goes, the one that unlocks the last dungeon. You should know it. You're dead for leaving us. Ken boy, I'm gonna tear your Game face nerd, up. quit hiding behind your sister. Come on, let's go. There are a bunch of cowards hiding in the dark. This date. Are you happy about that? Backstabber. You know my memory shit. Give me a hint. All the dragons you cannot slay are powerless when they stand in your way. All the dragons you cannot slay are powerless when they stand in your way. If you really cared, Maybe you'd remember it all. Her. Show her what a real man is. What are you going to sit there and make out with her the whole night? Just play a real game. So now you're playing kitty game with your inbred sister. I'm done with this shit.
that away for a few minutes. One second. Your seconds turn into hours. I'm almost done. You mean you're done? Hey, my progress didn't save. Oh darn, the world is over. Give it back. No, not until we go hiking, then fishing. Who? Us. I hate hiking. It's just walking in the woods. I hate walking. I've noticed. When did you ever fish? You know, I grew up here. I don't consent to this. Marcus, let's just get outside for a few minutes today, okay? Breathe some clean air, catch a fish or two. Whatever, give me my DS. Mom. You keep this up and we will go hiking all day, every day. We'll sleep in a tent, pick wild berries, feed off the land, and the best part, we'll be wiping with leaves. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. May, it's so good to see you. It's been so long. It has, it's good to see you too. Oh my goodness, is this Marcus? I cannot believe how much he's grown. Such a cutie. I'm so sorry to hear about your mom passing. Everyone loved her. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this guy keeps me busy. I can just imagine. Hey, did you hear that Harold Finch passed recently? Um, who? Mr. Finch. He owned Ace Hardware store. Sorry, I guess I don't remember. Okay. Hey, do you guys need anything? Thank you. Okay. Percent. Just let me know, ma'am, right down the hallway. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye, Marcus. Kyle, ready for state playoffs? No. Tell me about it. Something's come up. Dr. Daniels, this is Sophie. Hey, Sophie. Thanks for coming in with him. Nice to meet you. We've been dating. Three months now. Wow, that's great. That's great. We need your advice. See, one thing led to the other. I'm pregnant. How late are you? I'm six weeks. Well, you know, I can't see you without your parents' permission. But we're both 18. We can't tell our parents. My dad will kill Kyle. I'd feel more comfortable helping you if your parents both know. Well, I'm not here for a checkup. Uh, this will destroy us. Dr. Daniels, I was offered a full ride to USC. Look, I know it's rough, but I'm here for you. How can I help? Well, he, we were thinking about getting an abortion. I don't do that here. We're not asking you to. Then what? Should I do it? Do you think she should get one? Kyle, I really think I need to get your parents on the phone. Please, Dr. Daniels. Patient doctor privilege, right? Yes. Hey. Hey. Hey, guys. You okay? Yeah, that was Ken's son. Whew. Ken? Let me take a look at you, young man. Uh, Ken Thompson? Yeah, you're Ken. Not my Ken. We knew each other when we were young. Well, they were BFFs. Right, Marcus? I need to take a look at those cheekbones of yours. Wow. This is good news. Your black and blue marks are almost gone. 
You're going to heal up fine, young man. Oh, better tell your mom. I don't think she's listening. Mom, I heard. Who's that? Who are you on the phone with? It's Todd. He's good. He's living his dream. Glad to hear. What do you guys got planned today? We are going hiking and then fishing. Well, fishing? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Come on, Marcus. See you later, young man. Thanks, See you at home, eh? Why are we doing this? Fresh air. Oh, jeez. Love of nature. Can I at least have my phone? Would you just get your butt down here and help me with this? Ah. All right. We're doing this now, right? That's disgusting. Just put your hand in there really quick and grab one. No way you do it, Mom. Yes, that. Let's catch crawfish. Hey, get over here. I'm learning from here. Fine. All right. Don't have fun. Hi, Marcus. Oh, hi. How do you know each other? Oh, well, we go to the same school, and we have PE together. Yeah, Marcus is the best goalpost on the field. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm in. I'm May. Water's fine. Come on in. What? Oh, it's just your face is a lot more interesting when you're not looking down. So, uh, Pearl will beat you bad. Yeah. Does it hurt? A little. He's a jerk. Yeah. Let's go. Come on, Mrs. Connor. Oh. Okay. Hey! Well, you started this it. This water smells like... <laughs> Come on over. Hey, is uh, Marcus ready? Oh, he's just changing. Oh, OK. He's not outdoorsy. No, he's a gamer. Cool. <laughs> what about you? Me? What do you like to do? Oh, well, I'm a mom. So? Hey. Hey. Let's go to the arcade. Where? The Lodge, down the street. They have Centipede, Pac-Man, and 1942. They're hanging on for dear life, but they work. <laughs> yeah, go, have fun.
Hey, where's Marcus? Oh, uh, he's at the lodge with Anne. It's nice. Have you seen a uh, box of my old stuff? No, what are you looking for? Just some old memorabilia. I don't know what mom did with anything. Uh, I was thinking of picking up fast food for dinner. I'm game. Dinner's here. Oh, left. No, I'm right. gonna get you. No, no, you're not. I'm gonna sit down. You make I'm me nervous. Get you. No, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get you. Yes, I did it. Seriously? Let's play again. Come on. You lied. You've played before. No, I haven't. I swear. Come on. I know. I'm good. Hey. Left what the hell's right. all this? No, no. Gamer needs his games. You're pissed. Yeah. This trip was supposed to be different. No! Let's go again. Okay. Look at him, May. Ever seen him with any girlfriends before? Let alone somebody that'll just talk to him? It is pretty great. Does it remind you of anybody? No, I want to get to the pool. Oh, no, no. Yes, yes. No, no, no. Yes, yes. No. Yes. Oh my gosh, I got it. No, no. Yes, yes. I'm going to I got it. Mm -hmm. got it. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the hammer so he falls in the lava pit. Yes! No. Ugh. What the How did he So that's where they went.
It's the best time of day for that view. Dad tells me you guys have been hanging out a lot lately. Yeah, when your mom passed and my wife left, we did some bonding. <laughs> you bonded. Well, you know, we'd go shoot things, strictly platonic. <laughs> right. Very therapeutic. Last fall, we hunted elk for a couple weeks. I have never done that with Dad. I heard your son has a full ride to USC. Yeah, yeah, I'm really proud of him. Guess he got your talent. I hope you have a saying. All dreams are spun from the same web. I never thought football was really your dream. Well, I was blinded for a little while on what I wanted out of life. Where did you get those photos? Of what? Of my drawings. There she is, the old May Daniels. Um, I better get back. Marcus is there and Dad's gotta get to work, so. Yeah. You were always good at that. What's that? Walking away. Wow, your hair's on fire. Where'd you go? I went for a walk. <laughs> Nature never did agree with you. Chocolate, muffin, and coffee cake? Mm -hmm. Eggs, milk, and flour. Eat. I was thinking, let's make a deal, you and me. We will stay indoors all day today if you'll play games with me. Wait, really? Video games? Oh, no. Old school, cards and board games. Well, like poker? I'm not saying. You'll just have to experience it as it unfolds. And then we're gonna watch movies until our minds go numb. You don't trust me? Not really. We'll just give it a try, okay? And you get to pick the food for the rest of the day. <laughs> Do you have any angelfish? <laughs> Do you have any crab? Go fish. Do you have any flounders? Go fish. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.
And that was hilarious. That really happened? May, you gotta come over. That's hilarious. Ken's telling a bunch of stories. About you. <laughs> Me? I'm telling you, your mom had a wild streak. That's ridiculous, guys. I was a good girl. Don't let her fool you, Marcus. When we were juniors in high school, your mom used to bring a pack of cigarettes to school and we'd bribe the security guard to let us go off campus for lunch. That is, okay, I do not remember that. Mom! What? I didn't hear about that. Might as well own up to it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, wait a minute, I, I do remember, but seriously, it's because you dared me to and he just kept bugging me and bugging me. He wanted to go off campus and it was like one time, guys. Bullshit. It happened all the time. No way. I'm telling you. Ooh, mom was bad. She had her edges. She's not the only one. I remember trying to get your mom's attention. Wrote one song. One day in the lunchroom, I couldn't get her attention any other way, so I got up on the, got up on the lunch table and I sang to her. I got a burning, burning fire. It's burning, burning through. Don't make me wait. Don't turn me away from spending time with you. Wow. <laughs> it was well, quite the day. So that's how you stole mom's heart, right? Yeah, she couldn't forget that. I did not know that story. <laughs> yeah, it was my one and only song. I don't know, I miss your mom. I'll tell you that. I miss her. I really do. You done with that? Wait a second, Nick. What is it? Trip down memory lane for you. Where did you get this? Your mother gave him to me. Wow, what a great song. Brought back a lot of memories of your mom. Got the yearbooks. I do not remember you and Ken being so chummy before. Well, he went through a rough patch and I went through a rough patch. We understand each other. What do you got in the box? More memories. I don't remember you ever being like that with Todd. We haven't bonded. Well, you never tried. You know, Todd told me that you said he wasn't your first choice for me. I don't want to talk about this now. It's getting late. Oh, so we can, we can tell old stories about my life with Ken, but we can't talk about Todd. Fine. Your mom and I always thought Ken was the one. The one? Obviously, he wasn't. So, where does that leave Todd? I don't know, you tell me. You're up here without him after God knows how long. You don't look at all happy. Looks to me like you're running from something. What is it with everyone and the running? I just needed a break. Marcus needed a break. What about me? Your mom passed away three years ago. You don't think I needed something? You don't think I needed you guys? 
I invited you to come up so many times. I wasn't ready to leave here. I wasn't ready to be here. See, she has to go down the windy path. That's where the dragon meets her. But she gets the magic potion from the flower first. That way she can lure to sleep long enough to get by. Mom, I saw this open box. It's fine. This character is so cool. We're writing a whole story about her. Where'd they come from? Your mom drew them, junior high and high school. Mom? Yeah, she was gonna go to art school, be a game designer. Like, for board games? No, video games. No freaking way! Excuse me? You hate video games. I do. Nope. Some people just give up on their dreams. I didn't just give up on my dreams. I just grew up. May keep telling herself that. I gotta go. Anyway, she has to go past the dragon to see him, heal him, and get him back to the castle. Okay. And then later, they'll have revenge on the dragon. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I disappoint you. I didn't say that, May. Oh, you didn't have to. May. Go ahead. Get it off your chest. I'm a big girl. Fine. You could have done so much with your life, but you haven't. And now it's too late? What have you done with your talents? What? I have a job, and I'm a mother, and I help Todd manage his business. Yeah, you bust your back for Todd. He quits a perfectly good job, and now he's working you all to the edge of poverty. This is his dream. May, you're my daughter. You're supposed to have your own dreams. You know why I ditched all that, Dad? What Ken and I went through. Yeah, it was a struggle, but everybody has struggles. You gotta struggle to do what you want in life. I was bullied because I was a gamer, and no one understood me. We could have dealt with that. That is just what we're doing with Marcus, and it's not working. You haven't opened up to Marcus. That's your fault. You can't blame this on Todd. You can't blame it on Marcus. You can't even blame it on Ken. And you know what? You sure the hell can't blame it on me. You're missing the possibilities. Hey, look guys. I don't know how to do any of this. Seriously, I think this person 
uh, should go from this level to that one. I think they need to finish the maze first. Well, it's simple, but deep. Mom, we could do this. YouTube has videos for everything. Right, game coding in five minutes. Nah, 60 seconds. <laughs> now I know he's lost his mind. <laughs> Honestly, my friends and I would love playing this. Wow, really? I'm gonna need you guys to help me. You in? I'm in. Okay. Mr. Thompson, do you have an appointment today? Get out of my way. He is busy right now. Yeah, he's about to have his hands really full. Mr. Thompson, please. Dr. Daniels, I am so sorry. Jeannie, please close the door. Ken, you okay? You stay out of my family's business. Ken, calm down, please. Just take a seat. You had no right to do what you did. I thought we had an understanding, Doc. I'm not sure. Just because you're a doctor, doesn't mean you know what's right for other people. Look, just tell me what's on your mind. You might know what a broken bone looks like on an x-ray, but you don't know shit about what's right for people's future and their choices in their life. Look, I need you to clarify. I've known you for a long time, and we've been through a lot together. But I'm telling you right now, stay out of our business. Well, what do you have to say about that? It's a sonogram of a baby. It belongs to one of my patients. Where'd you get it? This is intrusion into a young man's private life. Since when do young men carry babies? Don't you be coy with me. I'm not, but I'm not obligated to talk to you about any photo or any patient. It's against HIPAA, you know that. Now, where'd you get the photo? You know damn well where I got the photo. I gave it to the mother. Are you the woman's father? Woman, she's a child. Look, Ken, you need to leave. We're not getting anywhere. Oh, I'm not done. Yeah, we are done. I don't want to see you spend another night in jail. No, just go. Sit down and let's finish this. No, we're finished. They were going to get an abortion. I was going to pay for it. Everything was going to be fine until my dumbass son came in here and you showed him a picture and let him listen to a heartbeat. Now, he wants to keep that thing alive. Yeah, well, that thing is a living human being. It's a mistake. It's not a mistake. I have a right to treat my patients as I see fit and do what's best for them. Now go, Ken. Stay the hell out of here. So if they don't want to fight the ogre, they can just go through the chute to the second level? We got to give the players options Same and choices, uh -huh. that way the story becomes their own. Slow down. I thought that they had to fight the ogre in order to prove themselves. Uh, well, don't mind me. Dad! <laughs> hey, big guy. How's your face doing? You're looking pretty good. Yeah. I thought you weren't going to come up. Well, I thought I'd surprise you. If you had a choice, would you rather be turned into a water slug or a diamond-eating turtle? to cross the river of forgotten destinies. Oh, well, obviously, in that case, a diamond-eating turtle. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it smells good. Oh, I can't wait. Hey, Chase, how's it going? Oh, sorry, I gotta take this. All right. Good talk. Hello? Who is this? Kyle? Kyle, calm down. Where are you? Hotel outside of Heber. Why? What happened? We're leaving. You can't do that. You know my dad. We could work this out. Not this time. Your dad's a good man. 
You've never lived with him. Tell him it's for the baby. They kicked her out. <sighs> That's rough. Where are you gonna go, you know? You can come here. No way. Not after tonight. Ask him. I don't know. Come on, we need it. Mom lives in Farmington. We need a room for tonight. Dr. Daniels, we need money. Please. Look, I can get you some money for gas in a hotel, but how do I get it to you? Venmo. I'll send you the contact. OK. I could send you like 300. Thank you for everything. <sighs> so, uh, Marcus has a new friend. Yeah, Anne. She couldn't be sweeter. And she's a real live person. Yep. So are his buddies online. <laughs> oh, so this is someone had a change of heart about virtual friends. I guess so. What? Nothing. You just look different. So the corporate gig worked out really good. Oh. A few days of uh, inebriated old men and their bored wives proved a fruitful venture. Yeah, they actually hired me for next year. You know, if I'm still doing this in the corporate gig, they want me to do other stuff on the side, so. Are we OK? That's why I came up here. You mentioned if you're still doing this next year. Perkins and Perkins called. Offered me my old job. <laughs> Evan even begged me to come back. And? Hey, babe, we don't have savings. That can change. And I hate seeing you go through that stupid job every day. I know you hate it. Hate's a strong word. Mm, strongly dislike? Strongly loathe, <laughs> really. <laughs> No, Dr. Wilson, he's a good man. Listen, I've been doing this for a year and a half. It's just, it's been good. I don't I, want you to stop. Even, even with all these gigs coming through? Yeah, I mean, Dr. Wilson's due to give me a raise. So I was thinking, let's give it another few months. We'll see what happens. Mm. I'll be good. Hey. Hey, May. Everything okay? Oh. Kyle ran away with his girlfriend. Whoa. Ken's gotta be livid. He usually jogs past here. So quiet here. I'd forgotten. That's why your mom loved it so much. Todd's here. I noticed. You could try to talk to him. I said hello. No, you didn't. Oh. He's not going anywhere. He could stay here as long as he wants. Yeah. 
That's not what I mean. I know. He really is an amazing man. If you just try to get to know him. I'm sure he is. He loves his family, just like you. And you're persistent, just like your mom. <laughs> you look like you could use a day off. Why don't you spend it with us? I wish. I'm just book solid. Yeah, we came at a busy time. I'm the only doctor for three towns. Sometimes it's just too busy. I hope you know how much this has meant to us. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. All right, here we go. These are some tricks I've been practicing. All right? So, keep a close eye. This magic bowl, not only is it awesome, but it could disappear. What? <laughs> This one is an oldie but goodie. Mom's favorite. I do like this one. You ready? Push it down, and it's gone. Yeah, it's good. good. It's pretty good. Next, the cards. I need a super sexy volunteer. Oh, not you, okay. Um... All right. All right, I need you to place it right here, upside down so I don't see it. All right, keep your eyes on this magic. Are you ready? Here we go. Was this your card? Oh my gosh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> How did you do it? It's magic. Ready to go? I can walk over there myself. Anne's house is 100 yards away. All right, and that was oddly specific, but I'd like to uh, meet Anne and her parents myself. So, I got this. Nobody invited me to the party. Oh, he can. Made some coffee. You want some? Well, aren't you hospitable? You are always fatherly, Doc. Isn't that right, May? You could have been my father, but you didn't want that. I tried. Hey, look, just have some coffee. I got a better idea. And slow down. Have you talked to your sponsor? Three years sober until you ruined my life. <sighs> Have you talked to Kyle? Have you? <sighs> Thought so. Look, he's an adult. I'm sure he'll call you. Wrong answer. You're going to tell me where he is. <sighs> I don't know where he is, man. I'm sure he'll get a hold of you. 
This isn't about him, this is about you. Look, I'm sure they'll get a hold of you. You knew our plans. Yeah, I knew them. But Kyle's just doing the right thing and plans change. The right thing would have been for him to take that scholarship and to play ball like he's supposed to before you started playing God. Hey. Hey, get out of my way. Todd. What the hell is this? Well, come on in. I don't think we've been properly introduced. What's going on? And you are? Uh, Todd May's husband. Well, hi, Todd May's husband. I'm Ken, May's old friend. We went to school together. Okay, um, whatever this is, do you just... That's it? You didn't tell him about me? Go ahead, call the cops. You didn't have to get to this point. It'll take him 45 minutes to get here. A lot can happen between now and then. What do you plan on doing? Going with the flow. You're armed. I am always armed. I learned a long time ago to not put myself in a place where I'm vulnerable. Hang on. We don't need to go into this. I was never good enough for you, was I? Wasn't creative enough? I have to put up with this. Oh, big guy, huh? I was all state three years. You play any football, Todd? Some, it just wasn't my thing. Well, I had scouts lined up at the door wanting to sign me. Then I got blindsided by a linebacker. Concussion. I remember that. I needed someone. And along came this beautiful, creative girl. She had brilliant ideas in her imagination. I got swept up in it. I guess that's why I quit football. I didn't know that's why you quit. I gave up on my dreams and my old life. And when I needed you, you bolted. That has never been the truth. You want to know what really happened? Why I left? Why I stopped creating? What's that? I didn't hear anything. Let's go over here. You can see the fireworks better. So it's like an old school hunter maze? Um, yeah. So I'm ripping off the Zelda codes and layout. So yeah. Tell me how that last verse goes, the one that unlocks the last dungeon. You should know it. You're dead for leaving us. Kenboy, I'm gonna tear your face. Gamer nerd, quit hiding behind your sister. Come on, let's go. There are a bunch of cowards hiding in the dark. Off the state. Are you happy about that? Backstabber. You know my memory shit. Give me a hint. All the dragons you cannot slay are powerless when they stand in your way. All the dragons you cannot slay are powerless when they stand in your way. If you really cared, Maybe you'd remember it all. Her. Show her what a real man is. What are you gonna sit there and make out with her the whole night? Play a real game. So now you're playing kitty game with your inbred sister. I'm done with this shit. Yeah. No coward. Come on, bro. Hey, come down. We need something to hit. I'm not dumbasses like you guys. Yeah, come on, Kenny, Kenny. How many of you are out there for just me? I'm not the chicken shit. Yeah, stop kissing your sister, bro. Ken boy, I'm gonna tear your face off. Yeah. It's just a game. Uh, you trade a football pads for your maxi pad. Run. Uh, what? No. Go, run. Take off your tampon, yeah, Kenny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, what you gonna do, huh? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Come down, bro. On your face. He saved me. If that's true, when I was in the hospital, where were you? She was there all the time. You just don't remember. Bullshit. I gave up CalArts to be there. It's true. She really did. And when you got home, you were so angry. I didn't know how to be around you anymore. I couldn't keep creating knowing I was one of the reasons they wanted to hurt you. So you left? I gave that knight too much power 
and part of me died. But not anymore. All the dragons? All the dragons. Yeah, he was drunk, so. That's not what I mean. His decision to leave the team caused this, not you. You know, I never told you, but I was bullied as a kid all growing up, even before Ken. That night, that night was just, the final straw. Now I... I know exactly how Marcus feels. I wish you would have told me. Honestly... I'd forgotten. Marcus. You know he's not gonna let this game thing go, right? <laughs> he's actually planning sequels. <laughs> he would. <laughs> but what do you wanna do? <clears throat> I think I wanna... I think I wanna design again. I want to see where the story takes me, you know? Good. All right, I'm in. All the dragons, right? Yeah. How does it go again? All the dragons you cannot slay are powerless when they stand in your way. with your face to the sun and me by your side will set them to flight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is version two. Lots of glitches, I'm sure. So don't laugh. You got this, babe. Come on, Mom. Ooh, I can't wait. Come on, yeah. uh, come on I can't. All right, all right. Yeah. Here yeah. we go. Yeah. Dude, this is awesome. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's the ogre right there. Oh, yeah. Fight him. <laughs> this is so cool. 